Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a little project planned for myself this weekend and it's going to involve my earthquake uh, rototiller. Basically, my front lawn has become so matted with dead grass, clippings, whatever it may be, and it really needs to be like dethatchered, uh, which this earthquake rototiller has attachments basically these here that you can put on and will give you the option uh, for power rake which will break up and basically loosen up all that dead grass and get it to the surface to where you can easily rake it up and uh, dispose of it um, I wanted to show you how easy it is basically to turn the rototiller into a dethatcher power rake and um, get into basically how to use it and uh, show you some of the work that we're going to be doing. Um, this can only go on one way but it basically has a left and a right but I don't know if you can see that it's not a straight cylinder it has a little notch uh, which basically when you slide it on it has to be on the right way and these prongs here have to go a certain way so you're not literally digging into the ground but just kind of brushing it uh, to basically get that dead grass to the surface so the left and the right and I have the blades for the rototiller on there right now which are basically just held on with a single pin so if I get these pliers, turn it out, and pull, it's just a basic pin to hold it in place, and these blades will come right out, which I think I had these ones backwards, but I think I just slapped them back on the last time I used it. So the left go right on and if you're looking directly on to the rototiller that's your left and that's your right so you're putting these on correctly and then I just slide this place if I can find okay there we go okay and we'll find this pin again and this in place to keep it from coming back off when you're using it. Alright, so that's that one side. I'll, I'll slap the other side on in a minute. And this right here is just a big shield to protect you from things flying up and hitting you. Uh, you have the smaller shield on right now and it has two screws. Uh, one on this side, one on the other side. And they take uh, 5 sixteenths. Uh, I basically have a battery terminal uh, wrench from Harbor Freight and uh, 5 sixteenths on this side. And basically, you just need to take these bolts out, and then you can put this bigger um, shield. But you're going to have to take off the back wheels which is pretty much the only pain of getting this on uh, these are pretty pretty easy I wish you didn't have to take everything apart um, but it just doesn't give you enough clearance from the wheels to actually bring on the shield and have this put on so I'm going to put everything on and then show you everything installed and um, we'll be getting to work after that point so bear with me so here it is with everything installed, uh, your plate uh, for the guard which uh, goes pretty much over the wheels to shield you from any debris or grass being thrown up. It only is held on by these top bolts right here which is that one and that one and the only other ones you have to take out are these back ones here for the wheels. This uh, slot right here is a little too narrow 
to pass through with the bolts on. You want to take this one off, these off here, because if you leave these on and take these off, it's not going to make it past the nut and bolt, which uh, is a little bit of a pain. And these are different size than the back, which I found that these terminal uh, wrenches that I bought were pretty handy. They're uh, nice and slender and fit in there perfectly to work efficiently. So I had two 10 millimeter, one socket, one wrench, uh, five sixteenths, one socket, one wrench, both three eighths. So I switched them out. Unfortunate that you have to have two sets to change all this out, but wish it was just uh, one set and then just get it done. Other than that, a pair of pliers and maybe a hammer to persuade it off if uh, it's dirty and uh, not willing to come off uh, without a little persuasion. But other than that, uh, you can change your rototiller into a power rake which I think is a really neat feature rather than buying a whole nother unit to do one job. All right. Well, that's not too labor intensive to change this from a rototiller to a uh, power rake dethatcher. Um, very happy with this purchase and the capability of actually switching this out and it becoming a uh, entirely different machine uh, capable of uh, doing uh, various tasks around the yard. Uh, it does have an attachment um, for edging which gives you those clean lines uh, along driveways and sidewalks. I haven't broke down and actually bought that particular attachment but maybe in the future. Um, for now what I want to do is um, hit the front yard really well with this uh, dethatchering rake and uh, get all that heavy matted dead grass from out uh, in between all the uh, grass that's still alive. Reseed really heavy and uh, make sure that that seed's actually touching um, dirt, like the ground, so that it can germinate and actually uh, be able to root. Uh, I've actually used this a couple times in different areas of the yard uh, seeding, but this is actually going to be the most I've ever used this. Um, I really want to get the front yard in shape because the grass that's out there now is almost like a needle rather than like a blade of grass. It burns up really easy during the hotter portions of the uh, summer months and doesn't really come back until around the fall. So if I can get some grass that can survive during those hotter months, um, I'll be better off because uh where my grass is brown dying it looks like it's dying my neighbors next to me still have like green lawns and i think it's a lot to do with uh, what type of grass i have out there so this is going to take up a lot of that dead matted uh grass that's been laying uh on the dirt like in between the the live grass and uh be able to get the seed down in there between to be able to root um I'm really uh, excited to get this out there and see what it's capable of doing. Uh, other than that, let's get out there, get started, and uh, see what we can get done.
So it's been about a week now and um, already starting to see some of that grass seed come up out of the ground. I think dethatching the lawn uh, gave the seed a more direct contact with the soil which helped with germination giving that seed uh, a better chance to properly root. A um, couple techniques to go over with you with this is at first I didn't know that you were supposed to actually pull in reverse and I had these heads switched around and the attachment itself became so matted with that dead grass that I wasn't having a whole lot of success at first. Um, basically once I learned that you're supposed to pull in reverse I switched these heads around and it was a lot less violent and it wasn't destroying uh, what was already rooted, the green grass that was already there. So if you're having a lot of problems with it, uh, you may want to consider installing them. Like if I'm forward facing uh, the tiller itself, my left from my right, and it has a sticker on it to tell you which one is which, I think it's a lot better to not be digging into the ground so much as just br brushing and getting that uh, dead grass up and um, basically having the unit or this cultivator uh, work a little bit smoother. You can see in the video, my first pass, I got so much of that dead matted grass up uh, that I probably wouldn't have did a second pass if I wasn't reseeding, but I wanted to give that seed more of an opportunity to actually hit that soil. If you're thinking about buying this, I would say it's a great investment. Uh, the cultivator itself, I use to open and close the uh, garden down for the season, making sure that that um, soil's nice and loose and uh, actually putting uh, some of the compost and um, nutrients back into that soil. Uh, having this to where I can dethatcher the lawn um, gives me the opportunity to have a healthier lawn. Um, I would say it's a great investment. I haven't broke down and actually bought the edger yet, but that's maybe in the future. I'll see how that works. But uh, for now, that should do it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, stick around. I have a ton more videos on the way, projects. I'll be back.